The stars of The Dark Knight Rises respond to the tragedy in Colorado. Stay tuned for all the details. Hello everyone, thanks for watching Clever News. The stars of the latest Batman film, The Dark Knight Rises, have wasted no time showing their support and love for the victims of the Colorado massacre, stepping up to the plate and demonstrating their empathy. Just yesterday, photos surface online of Christian Bale actually inside the Aurora, Colorado hospital where many of the victims are being treated. The Denver Post reports that Bale, who plays Batman and Bruce Wayne in the film, spent about two and a half hours at the medical facility Facility. He met with seven patients who sustained injuries and also spoke with doctors, police officers, and emergency medical technicians who were the first on the scene after the violence occurred. I also want you guys to know that the president of the Aurora Hospital said that Bale did not alert the media of his trip. He simply wanted to meet with the patients on his own time and his own dime. He was not visiting as a Warner Brothers representative. The ever-classy Anne Hathaway, who plays Catwoman and Selena Kyle in the film, released a statement showing that she isn't exactly having an easy time dealing with this gut-wrenching news. She said, quote, My heart aches and breaks for the lives taken and altered by this unfathomably senseless act. I am at a loss for words how to express my sorrow. My thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. In the same vein, Joseph Gordon-Levitt took to his Twitter account to issue his condolences, saying, quote, My most sincere sympathies go out to the families of the victims in a Aurora. Perhaps the most emotional and grief-stricken of the statements comes from director Christopher Nolan. He said, quote, Speaking on behalf of the cast and crew of The Dark Knight Rises, I would like to express our profound sorrow at the senseless tragedy that has befallen the entire Aurora community. I would not presume to know anything about the victims of the shooting, but that they were there last night to watch a movie. I believe movies are one of the great American art forms, and the shared experience of watching a story unfold on screen is an important and joyful pastime. The movie theater is my home, and the idea that someone would violate that innocent and hopeful place in such an unbearably savage way is devastating to me. Nothing any of us can say could ever adequately express our feelings for the innocent victims of this appalling crime, but our thoughts are with them and their families. To give you guys a bit of an update, Warner Brothers has made a quote generous donation to GivingFirst.org, which is going to help the victims recover and build their lives. The the specific amount that was donated was not made public. The studio has also been sensitive in other ways as well. They delayed the box office sales figures till Monday, they canceled promotional events in Mexico, Japan, and France, and pulled the Gangster Squad trailer from previewing before The Dark Knight Rises because of its graphic and violent nature. Make sure you keep it locked on Clever News by subscribing to stay up with all the latest surrounding this story. And of course, leave all your well wishes for the victims of this tragedy below. Clever Media sends only love, positive thoughts, and prayers to ones who were affected by this. In Hollywood, I'm Deidre Behar, and I'll see you soon.